Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. It's Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we're talking Love and Marriage Huntsville. Today we are talking about Martel Holt finally shutting down his baby mama, his side chick. And she apparently is an Anonymous T fan because she is saying on, what, the 11th or 12th day of May that it's money-making May. And you know that I do my money-making Mel videos, you guys. I mean, can we at least just do the shout-out? Like, <laughs> I mean, thank you for being a fan. But it sounds like Martel has shut her down. And it seems to be trouble in paradise. Because as you guys know, on Easter, Martel was very nostalgic about Melody. And was talking about how he used to grill and she used to make all of the side dishes melody and i believe either his niece or nephew i think it was his niece was um shouting out auntie mel auntie melody and how auntie melody taught him how to season you guys and of course the side chick was losing her mind in the comments and then she was back home for easter while the family was gathering and doing all this and that and once again she is on live you guys but I think after neglecting her child in the bathtub, I think after leaving her child in the car unattended and forgetting about him, as well as, you know, trying to gaslight fans in her lives and do all this stuff, Martel was like, forget it. You're making me look bad. I've moved on. You're a liability. He's finally realizing, you know, what he has lost in Mel and how he gave this all up for somebody who is just trying to be famous is just trying to get their name out there by any means necessary but the problem is it's too late so now she's alleging that she's not doing lives anymore which she's told us that before and still ended up doing lives and is alleging now that she's focusing only on her boutique that has like four outfits the same four outfits and then there's people in the comments asking if there will be plus size of uh, <laughs> sizes available you guys she's called plus size women linebackers and then she's insulting her followers calling them dummies and um it's like what do you mean she's like well you guys say that i'm dumb but you guys are dumb and it's like what Oh, and mind you, no, I did not see this on her page. I saw this on somebody um, else's. But it's just, again, it's just the lack of self-awareness. She could have really used this platform to make some money. Instead, she used the platform to bash Mel. And in doing that, she turned more people off of her. And there were people who were trying to advocate for her, who were trying to help her. And we're trying to help her, you know, change her image, change the focus. But she made her entire identity about Melody. She made her entire identity about Melody. Martel thought that he could get Mel back and try to get, you know, the side chick on the show. He thought that he could rebrand the side chick into the new Mel. But the problem is when you're dealing with somebody who has nothing to lose, who lacks intelligence, who is willing to sleep with a married man and willing to be pregnant at the same time as the wife, as if it's a competition, that is what happens when you are dealing with people like that who will do anything for relevancy, who will do anything to stay in the news. And so now she feels a way because she doesn't want to give, you know, YouTubers any content. But the thing is, we didn't have to look that far to get any off of you because, I mean, we, it's more about your behavior than anything. You're not giving us actual information. You're not giving us actual content like to keep it a book. It's your behavior and how you treat your children and how disrespectful you are to your daughter and you're talking all of this inappropriate language and all of this other nonsense in front of your 10-year-old. In front of your 10-year-old, you have this filthy mouth and you are claiming that now all of a sudden it's only going to be focusing in on your boutique. And, and, and thank goodness, you know, finally, after a couple of years, finally, because it takes people like Martel a little while to, like, realize things that now he's finally shut you down. So there is that.
And I wonder if CPS visit as well. I'm wondering if that's like the real reason she shut down. Because remember previously, she was only supposed to do lives when Knox was asleep, right? But that quickly, you know, stopped happening. And now she's not allowed to do lives at all, which doesn't seem like that was her decision. Because she likes the attention that she gets off of lives. Remember, she was supposed to originally have a YouTube channel. And she was supposed to do reviews for Love and Marriage Huntsville, a show that she didn't watch. And then she was supposed to, you know, claim that she was going to, you know, do all this talk about a show that made her the storyline, even though she's not being discussed at all. And so now she's completely shut down. So we'll see how long this lasts. We will see how long it lasts of her not being on Instagram Live, not getting any more followers or attention for her nonsense and her foolishness. We will see how long she stops, you know, trying to throw jabs at her baby's daddy now that there's trouble in paradise and he has moved on. We'll see how long that lasts. We will see how long that lasts because the moment that he wants her back or gives her just enough to give her hope that they can get back together, she'll then go back to bashing Melody as usual. So there is that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you guys think of Martel finally shutting down his side chick for good? Shutting down lives? Shutting down the false narratives? Shutting everything down? He was probably getting sick of getting DM'd all of these ways that, you know, his baby mama was making, you know, his child look bad and telling lies to the internet and everything else. And he's like, listen, I've got somebody else. You got to stop with your foolishness. And what do you think of the side chick being a fan of Anonymous T and saying money making May of the 12th day of May, you guys, the 12th day of May. Wouldn't that have been something you said the first day of May? But nonetheless, um, she's a fan because I say money making Mel here. So thank you. Um, and there's that. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.